Howdy folks, welcome back to Cattle and Crops. It's springtime, I believe it's March the 10th, and the crops are starting to come in, so I was just running around checking some of the fields. Uh, we have wheat just about everywhere, uh, except for fields, I think it's 21, uh, is grass. Planted some grass. I think maybe this one is grass. It looks like grass, doesn't it? Uh, so if I can't remember if I've shown it in the series yet the way the crops grow in basically most of the model is underground uh, and then it pushes it up through the ground and then it will sometimes get more detail depending on the crop but uh, so it looks a little funny because it's kind of waving in the mud a little bit but overall the effect is pretty nice you get little sprouts and then it gets taller and taller uh, so just running around a little massy checking out fields believe this one is grass. Let's just go double check in the menu. So bring that up. We're here to fields and owned and this is number 16 and it is field grass. And it's nice and dry. Except for the low down it's kind of muddy. Surface though it's nice and dry. So let's go hop down here in this noisy little thing. Go check some of the other fields. I do need to wash the tractor too. It's a little dirty after the uh, fall planting and cultivating and stuff. Ought to get that cleaned up a little bit. Up here and take a peek at fields uh, 13 and 15. Looks like the wheat's coming in nicely. Nice green carpet. Don't really see any problems there. Just looking for big gaps or you know anything I might have messed up. So that's field 15. This is field 13. Take a little bit closer look at this one. Yeah, so it's a little bit different than the grass. Uh, let's get the parking brake on just in case. Don't want the tractor rolling away from me. Uh, so a little bit different model. This is the wheat. This field also looks fairly dry. Let's take a look. It's uh, owned and field 13. Yeah, it's also quite dry. So it's kind of dried out this spring. Which is nice. It's been so wet for so long. Uh, planted in wheat. There you have it. Quite a bit of screen tearing for some reason. Always something. Just double check the settings here. How did VSync get turned off? That would explain the screen tearing. I don't know if that comes through on the video or not, but it was kind of distracting on my end. Come on, save. Say, there you go. Alright, let everything redraw. It's still getting screen tearing. I might actually have to restart the game. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's carry on. Not the end of the world. I do run everything pretty much turned up as far as it'll go, so the frame rate's not the best. Usually get 30 to 40, something like that. But I like the detail. Looking forward to some optimization on this game someday. I'm okay with the quality of the graphics if we just get it optimized where it runs well. I'm more about the simulation than the pretty factor. These graphics are more than adequate. So another field of wheat there in 14. And this screen tearing is going to drive me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I don't know how that got changed. I was uh, playing this just the other day and it was fun. So about before we head over to uh, 21 and 3, I'm going to go take a little break. I'm going to get the tractor washed. And I'm going to restart the game and see if that V-Sync will kick in. There we go. 
go. Click the magic clean button. And I'll be right back. All right. I've tried everything, and it's... I, I don't know. It's just... It is what it is. Uh, I turned on motion blur, which maybe will help it some. But anyway, uh, tractor's clean. Let's head on out. And disappointing, the sound doesn't change when you close the door. It's a mod tractor, so everything's kind of work in progress on mods. Thinking about when I get a little more money of trading this in, getting another little Deutsch. Uh, it's got more like in cab controls and stuff. It's a little more complete. And it would match our bigger tractor. But uh, let's run down to three, the big field, and then we'll hit uh, 21 on the way back. No cows in the pasture anymore. We've just got 40 in the barn. I think I may do that for a while. Uh, the cows kept getting out of the pasture, and I don't know if that's a feature, but there's no way to prevent it, which kind of sucks. So. And they do gain weight, but they don't gain that much weight in the pasture, so I think we'll just run the barn full. This fall, when we sell off a trailer load, we'll pick up another trailer load. Forgot to hit that throttle for the uphill. I don't know what their plans are. I wish you could... S I don't know. The you think the tr tractor would have like a governor setting, but maybe that's not how this tr kind of tractor works. Alright, let's park here. Park your brake on. Get the door open. This, I believe, is grass, or no, that's wheat. It's like wheat. There's a strip of something. This field is not perfect. Uh, the AI did a lot of turning. You can see the patches in it, which I think is a, a great feature. What is that? I can't, no, not that button. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think they took away the crouch command. So yeah, it didn't get planted along through here where it turned for whatever reason, but let's see what this field is for sure. Field three, uh, oh, it is wheat, okay. There's, there's a little bit of not planted and a little bit of corn still in there somewhere. I'm not sure if the corn will grow because it should have been harvested. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Everything's pretty dry though this spring. Had a really wet winter. Had a heck of a time getting the harvest in last fall because it was so wet. Everything's pretty well dried out though. So let's go check field 20. I keep wanting to say 21. I don't know if it's 21 or 23. The other field, which I believe I planted in grass. I kind of wanted to do, uh, to do some hay this year. I haven't really done that, so... We'll do some hay. Maybe go sell it. Looking forward to more involved animal stuff, which is on the timeline. I don't remember exactly where. But somewhere on down the road, we should have to, you know, water them, give them straw, maybe clean out their stalls. I don't know what else is coming. It just says animal parameters. Right now, I basically don't have to touch uh, the bulls. You buy them, you set up a recurring feeding task, and they just make you money. Which is fine. You can play with this uh, cattle and crops more like a f farm management simulator if you want to. You're just kind of managing the hired help. Or you can jump in the tractor and get your hands dirty. Slow down there, tractor. What we got? Anybody coming? No. All right. We're going to do the St. Louis slide right through that stop sign. Now, there's roads marked on the map, but they don't really show up in game. But this is the access road here. I assume that's a work in progress feature that we'll be getting eventually. All right. Parking brake set. 
here. We should have some grass. It's just starting to poke through. This got planted a little later. So you can see it kind of pokes the tips of the model through and then it, it gets taller. And then sometimes the model changes as needed. It is 23. I kept calling it field 21, I think. It's 23. Uh, you can see it's mostly field grass. We missed about 4% of the field. When I say we, I mean the AI I assigned to do it. Uh, it's also quite dry, except down low it's nice and wet. So again, where the AI turned didn't really get planted. So all those little bare spots across the field add up to about 4%. But, you know, other than that, it did a pretty good job of planting. So if we just recap our fields here, we've got uh, 3 in wheat, 13 in wheat, 14 in wheat, 15 in wheat, 16 field grass, 23 field grass. So 16 and 23 are going to be our hay fields, which means we will need some hay equipment. So if we take a look in our fleet, did I buy a... Yeah, I did buy this mower. This is a mod. Well, that's different. It's all blurry. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. It's sitting over there in the shed. We'll take a look at it. Uh, but I don't have, like, a, a tether. Or a baler. You know, or anything else hay-related. So we'll be having to hit up the dealer. That we got this guy, which is a, a wind rower. Yeah, this guy, which is a tether. Uh, it only needs a hundred horsepower, so we could throw that on the the Massey. I believe. Then of course we have the baler, which should go behind the Deutsch. Not sure what that is, but it's sixty-eight thousand dollars. I threw some more mods on here to try out. Where's the baler? Did I scroll right past it? We're on dealer. Where is, oh, there it is. Yeah, I scrolled right past it. So the, the baler's $142,000. Probably end up just renting that to bail it up. And do I have a hay trailer? I did at one point. Yeah, I've got the flatbed. Still got the flatbed. So, we'll just have to run a baler. And I may buy or rent a tether. I'm not sure. And a wind rower, stuff like that. I'm also going to check the mod sites. See if there's a mod for that. Typically, the mods will be a little cheaper. Something we can afford easily. So that's the spring update. Uh, there's not much to do. We're just waiting for crops to come in. I haven't really messed too much with uh, fertilization. Because I honestly don't think it makes a difference yet. Like it changes the uh, the bars on the field view. But I don't know that it affects the yield or anything like that. I guess I should probably run some kind of scientific experiment too lazy just playing the game right now oh yeah I was going to show you this field so this is a field next to the farm I don't own this field nope stay put park and break on and normally all the non-player owned fields just sit fallow they just sit empty uh, but through console commands I actually planted I think wheat on here what did I plant on here Let me know what field this is. What field are you? Doesn't tell me. All right, let's go to map. Hover. That's oh, that's twenty-two. All right. So if we go to available field twenty-two, I planted rye on there. There we go. Just for some scenery around the farm, basically. Uh, so planted rye there. I assume it will grow. Don't know what will happen to it after that. We'll keep an eye on it. Just wanted some green around the farm. 
So since we don't own that field, I just planted some rye in it with console commands. So anywho, like I said, just a waiting game. I'll wait for the crops to grow in. Maybe uh, test some mods and stuff out. Probably next episode, we'll just fast forward to some harvesting. Unless I find something else interesting to show you. So just a quick spring update video this time around. Next up, we should have some actual work to do. So thanks for watching, and as always, take care.